time is it, y'all? It's peanut butter jelly time. Movie review time. That's my dollars. Well, that's my Sunday morning. Why am I talking like that? Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. I know I did a peanut butter jelly. I did a peanut butter jelly even though I don't know if this movie deserves it. I said it. Oh yes, I said it. I went to see Brightburn. Y'all are shocked. Number one, y'all are shocked I went and seen Brightburn, right? You're shocked because I don't like scary movies. Never go see scary movies. My son wanted to see it. My husband wanted to see it. I was like, all right, let's go see Brightburn. Because I'm like, I will get over a scary p movie part because that's how much I love, like, superheroes. I mean, superhero villains can be scary, but I will get over the scaredness to see the superhero-ness, right? So I did. I went and saw it. I didn't really like it. I didn't. I had, maybe I had too high of expectations. James Gunn directed, right? Produced or whatever. It was his, I, didn't he do both, but produce and direct. And so I was like, James Gunn, like he knows about superheroes. It was a neat premise. I was like, this is like Superman, but evil Superman. This evil Superman, how cool would that be? Not very cool. The premise was great. It failed. It failed. And not even because I don't even like scary movies. Because I'm going to tell you this. Yeah, the jump scare. They got plenty of those. You've seen them from the trailers, the jump scares. I was jump scaring all over the place. And then my husband was there. And he's like, why are you, why are you grabbing onto me? I was like, that. I was like, you're supposed to be here to protect me. I was getting mad at him because he wouldn't. Like, they was jumping at me. But as far as the scary part. I really wasn't. The, the, the jumps get me. But I wasn't scared of this boy. I wasn't scared of this boy. <laughs> I wasn't. And in the parts when he was like doing the thing, you saw the one part like in in the in the cafe thing and he and the lady gets the eye in her glass. They had a, a few little pieces like that. I mean that was one. They had another one when he went out to the, and, and the guy's like jaw. Oh, it was gross. Oh, they, if you want to see gore, this movie's got the gore for you. It's got the gore, but it didn't, it wasn't like scary gore for me. It was just nasty. It was nasty gore, but it was like a gore fest. But even the boy didn't even scare me. He's supposed to be, all right, let me tell you. It starts off right, right, right where it starts off. It's the couple and they, you see all their books and they can't have babies and all this. And they've been trying and praying and going to special this. All right. So they really want a baby. Then out of the sky, here comes, boom. They live on the, like the little farm, just like Superman. Here comes a baby. They get a baby. Or you just see the boom, right? They get the baby. Then they, then I, I thought I had hope. I was like, oh, they really going to dive into this because like even the Superman story, you don't see like the attachment they get to Superman, right? They show, they begin showing they, they have this baby in the little, he's a little baby and cute and they're taking pictures and he's wearing overalls like his daddy and he's growing up and more pictures of him and videos. And you're just like, oh, you, you, they're really trying to make you have that connection, see that connection with the parents and this baby. And then he turns 12 and then he starts like hearing these things from the barns and they catch him and he's trying to get in the thing and it's glowing and he's doing like that. So you're like, oh, something's up in there. Probably the little machine or whatever he came up in and in, in uh, on from wherever he came from is up in there and it's calling to him, right? Yeah, that's what you're saying. It's calling to him. He makes his eyes red and he's like saying these words, like whatever his language is. So you're like, all right, that thing's calling to him. But the, he's like snaps in out of it. He's like this thing with the, and the trance trying, blah, 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 blah. and then the mom comes. She's like, she's like, what are you doing? And he's like, what? Uh, you know, so you're like, oh, he don't, he don't realize it or what? But then he starts realizing his powers. He starts realizing his powers. He's like 
trying to start this lawnmower thing and he's getting mad and then he like pulls it real hard and it flies like miles away and so like all right he's realizing he's got these powers the parents already know that he's like kind of special they they even like made the comment like he never bleeds he never broke a bone he never had a bruise they're like something's up with this boy he never has gotten hurt so they know he ain't right they know he ain't right and then he's in school and he's like the smartest kid in school knows everything right but then, to me, it's like, all right, I start seeing it up in school, teenage, they're hitting the puberty. Like, I'm like, if my son gets mad at somebody has Superman powers, I can see him doing some of the same stuff. It reminded me of my son if he had superhero powers and a little evil up in him. <laughs> but I wasn't scared of him. And when I saw him come into the houses, I'm not like, oh, Lord, here he comes. I'm just like, because... I feel like the people are just dumb. How are they not going to... They had this part. He crushes somebody's hand. Just crushes it in front of everybody. And they're going to be like, something's up with this boy. How, you No human, especially a little teen, a little preteen boy, can just crush a hand and break all his bones. The people up in there is dumb. They could have they stopped him. They could have stopped him if they were smarter. So number one, they is dumb. He wasn't that scary for me. Too much gore. And this is the this is the kicker. Because I went to it because I wanted to hear like the superhero part. That's what drew me to it. Oh, superhero, that's evil. They really, I mean, as far he has the powers and he uses those powers to like kill up on people that make them mad. But as far as it like getting into the superhero-ness of it. You don't, you don't find, you don't get anything from like that, that ship he came on, uh, off of and why, or why those voices are calling him or anything like that. You don't get any kind of backstory in that. They really don't dive in to the superhero-ness of it. Or should I say, the, like the superpowers. You see that he gets these powers. You even see, I mean, you see the one with the strength, how it develops and he's like, Shh, and, and that. And then he all of a sudden has this power. Oh, and now he's he's flying. Oh, and now he's super this. And and now he's got beams out of his eyes. I you get it, it, it pops up there, but they don't dive into it. They don't dive into like the origins of or even him developing it. And they just want to dive into him get mad at people, and the people he gets mad at goes and kills them. And then you're not even scared that he's gonna go and kill him because I mean his character is kind of like just lame. And then even his mask is dumb. Some knit cap. <laughs> Why does he even have to wear them knit cap? They all know that's him coming at him. I was I was a little disappointed. Everybody was. So I went there with my husband and my son. My son was like, yeah, like my son hardly ever wants to go to a movie with me. I was like, Brightburn. And he was like, oh yeah. Because he heard about it. He loves superheroes. He don't really like scary movies, but... He was just, and then that's the thing. He wanted to scare movies, and he at the beginning, he was like, oh, oh, you know? And then he was like, it wasn't scary. It wasn't scary. They had a lot of, but he was like, he didn't like it. My husband didn't like it. I'm like, I didn't like it. I didn't hate it. Like, I didn't think, like, I didn't want to walk out on it. But I didn't like it. I did want to walk some parts. The gory. Uh, ugh, it was gross. Gross. Like, we want to talk about gore. Like, they got it in the gore area. They hit the gore area. Which I was like, they could have skipped the gore area, made his character more scarier, cooler, could have dived into the superhero part more. No, none of that. I give it a two out of five. Two out of five. Kind of disappointing. My favorite part was the they had a cameo at the very end. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, there's so and so at the very, very end. They, uh, and I was waiting because, you know, superhero, I'm like, oh, they ain't going to have any mid credit scenes, this, none, none. I had to be sure, though. You never know. None. So, yeah, two out of five. Disappointed. Wasn't, you know, I don't like scary. The jump stuff, yeah. But as far as the scariness, no. And I saw it. 
Y'all didn't think I would. I went and saw it. And after all that, disappointed. All right, y'all. Till next time.